Welcome back to Immortal Empires. Today we're going to be playing some Elifinar, and I just realised we're starting the episode on turn 50. That's kind of satisfying. Uh, what I've also done is decided to zoom out a little bit to try and spot Malekith's armies, and I can't actually see any. Of course, we have Elifinar up here, and we have Sail down here, but the only armies I can see are of Marathi, so I think... All of Malekith's armies must be on this western border here. Uh, maybe prepping to deal with Katep. I'm not so sure. Unless they're over here and we just can't see them. Uh, because our vision doesn't reach far enough. But in this episode we have some decisions to make. Do we try and survive or uh, try and save the Sisters of Twilight? I'm not sure if that's quite possible. Because these guys have a, a few stacks of armies. That's almost a four stack. Uh, that is a four stack. Uh, that's nothing. That's almost half a stack. And then, of course, we have a four stack here as well. I think the Sisters of Twilight, the uh, to pull it as politely as I can, uh, are quite screwed. Because <laughs> that's all they have to fight against this. Maybe they can hold off. What's their garrison like? If I can click on it here. There we go. Oh, they have a decent garrison. Maybe they can hold on still. Uh, and we should carry on with our plan to take Malekith's lands. I think we might actually do oh, that. Who's lands. this up here? Ah, uh, you belong to, um, what's her name? Uh, I know who she is, the, the Gore Queen. I've completely forgotten her name. Uh, you belong to her. Is it Valkyr? Something like this, right? So I think we're going to go Harkaldra. Lipanar is going to come through the north and take these lands. And maybe Sail will come through and take these lands. We just need to keep an eye on Marathi's armies as well, though. So let's go ahead and start marching with Lipanar. What we will need to do, though, come, is Warriors. we're going to be taking some attrition. Okay, so we found some beastmen over there. Let's go ahead and pull ourselves in in-camp stance. Oh, we could have used the Shadow Realm Pathways. Traverse terrain that would normally be impassable via the Shadow Realm. Immune to most attrition, ambush defense chance is up. Whereas, I mean, this kind of does the same thing, but gives us some leadership as well. I mean, we're looking for uh, immune to uh, attrition, aren't we? So let's go ahead and make our way up there. I still don't spot any... Done. Yeah, it's Valkyrie. There we go. I still don't spot any armies farm Malekith. I assume she's going to declare war against us, though. Can we use the shadow pathways with you? We can. So let's go ahead and do that, and we're going to go ahead and try yeah, and take Hag Grief uh, with you. That should be fine. Ambush defense chance plus 25%. It's actually quite nice, isn't it? Right, uh, we have 10,000 gold. We could probably spend that on doing some building. Let's go ahead and look at the Blacklight Tower. We can upgrade this. This gives us the Lawmaster of Hoeth, uh, also the Swordmasters of Hoeth. And it also unlocks more technology. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is going to be our recruitment province, of course. Uh, do we have anything else to do? We do not. What I might do... Is it too late to build an outpost over here, I wonder? I should have done this a while. Oh, I'm already building an outpost. Okay, that's good then. That's that's all good there. What's this building for? Ah, uh, Nagarond. Of course it is. Right, let's go ahead and open the building browser. What we're going to do up here... We build some marbles. That should reduce the construction cost for everything. We could also turn this into a recruitment province as well. Let's get some growth going though, just so we're not waiting an eternity. And then maybe what we could also do is get an Asanar camp up here. Do we want an Asanar camp up here? Campaign movement range for enemies could be nice. Hero success chance and ambush success and defense chance. Yeah, let's go ahead and build one of those up here as well. Uh, I'll be happy to have that. We can also always move it to Harkel draw uh, later on. That's fine. Right, let's go ahead and check the diplomacy. Katep still wants that non-aggression back. The thing is, I don't want to fight him. But he's not allying himself with anyone else around here. Hmm... It's either him or the Sisters of Twilight. I think I want the Sisters of Twilight. If they die, then we can always get that. Uh, we can go ahead and give some military access and a defensive alliance with Avalon. I did have a think since the last episode. I think it might be better to try and confederate her rather than go to war for her. Because we do need to control Nagarif, of course, eventually. That's our diplomacy done. Let's go ahead to turn 51. I will hear your plea, mortal. Avalon wants us to join the, um, the war against the Dreadfleet, so that would be Noctilus. 
<sighs> we really have to be careful with him. I don't even see where his armies are. Are they hidden up here, maybe? Uh, I don't actually know. Where is Noctilus? He doesn't seem to have landed himself over in the High Elf Territory, so they must have uh, de beat him back to the Galleon's Graveyard. Uh, I will join this because I want to improve relations. It just means we're going to have to be careful now. Make sure we don't... Uh, no one attacks our coast. So let's go ahead and accept that one. That should be fine. Ally begins outpost construction. Where are they building that one to? Clark Carond. Okay. Um... I guess that's okay. Uh, helps that. Uh, Lithanar gains a new trait, minus three construction cost for the local province and plus three percent income. Yeah, it's kind of okay. And we've aborted this mission now. Carry out a successful assassination attempt on Norev. Uh, seems Norev has disappeared. Right. Uh, I feel like we are dangerously close to spreading ourselves too thin here. I'm really scared about all of these armies coming from the south. That's the problem I have. Also, we did find Malekith. Malekith is nearby, and an army no has way. moved in here. It's not a very big army, though. So I think we're still going to take that this turn. One thing I want to do, just in case, let's bring Erdofane up north, because we might need to assassinate Malekith. What level are you? 21. Yeah, so he's well leveled. He's already got three of his unique equipment as well. So he's looking like he could be a, a strong fight here. Can you reach Nagarond next turn? You can with Force March. I don't know about regular, though. I can't seem to see where you would go with a normal stance. Uh, before we do that, though, I guess, let's go ahead and attack Hagrief. That should be a fairly easy battle. It's given us a Pyrrhic victory, but we can always alter resolve that, which I think we will do. So let's go ahead and do this. 3,800 XP, 2,500 gold is nice. Oh, look at that. We could sack it for another 10,000. I think in this situation, uh, I will actually go ahead and do that. And then let's go ahead and reoccupy it. It's nice to have a bit of gold in the bank. We should probably upgrade this army soon as well. Let's see, what level up would you want? We can go ahead and get some Quartermaster. Let's do that. Should help the income. Just a tag. And now with a Lifanar, because Malekith is nearby... Get I'm almost inclined to come back south. Dances, so shall I. We could invite him to a battle. The thing is, we're already quite damaged. Waking. What? What I might do then Again. is take Our ourselves back ready. to Nagarond. Revenge. We'll get some replenishment, even if it's only a little bit. And we'll invite Malekith to make the next move. Master of I don't think he can attack either of these if he's not in Force March, which is good. Uh, we should be able to defend this. Right, we have 3,900 income. We could maybe make a third army if we really wanted to. Or even better, upgrade this army. Can we build anything over here? We can. Right, let's go ahead and get the garrison up. I feel like that's important. What we could do here... Oh, we got some resources as well. Let's go ahead and get those resources going. I'm also going to improve the growth too. And then up here in the north... Nagarond can get some building done. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. And um, we'll also upgrade this. We need to get it to tier 3 so we can get a garrison going. Ideally, let's go ahead and repair this one. We've already got a port. We've got the Eye of Hagrief as well. Income, iron and marble. Ooh, very nice stuff. And we could also build some outposts over here hmm is that maybe something we want to do i think like we could even now uh, we don't have many allegiance points here as well that's the problem how much gold do we have? We have 12,000. Let's just go ahead and build an outpost. And then with Illyrian, I'm also going to build an outpost there as well. Just keep everything nice and strong. Now, I don't think we have... Where's my armies? There we go. I don't Behold think we can power. already do allied recruitment, right? Yeah, we still don't have an outpost with the Sisters of Twilight. I was thinking maybe we can get some Wood Elf units in this army. That would be a good way to upgrade. We could also get some Regiment of Renown units. Global recruitment could also work, actually. There's a few units here that we can recruit in one turn. 
say uh, maybe even Shadow Warriors or something like Loven Seaguard. They are anti-large. They have charge defense against large foes. And of course they are a hybrid unit. We've got a few buffs for them. Maybe we could get three of those. What does this cost to upkeep? Uh, 120 gold, 165. It's marginally more expensive. Let's go ahead and heal or we'll combine some of these, like so. Just make sure they're of a similar rank if we're going to do this. Should be fine. Let's go ahead and get some Love and Seaguard. Yeah, I like that. Or oh, we could also get some Illyrian Reavers. Get some flanking capacity going on here. We could get two cavalry units, actually. Should be able to flank round the back. Maybe pick off some missile units. Let's try it. I don't often use cavalry, but we're going to try in this instance. Uh, that should be something a bit different and fun for us. Four turns and we can get another assassin. That's nice. Did I already move the assassin this time? I did. Right, let's go ahead and check the diplomacy. I'm all for trying new things. Uh, one thing Alaria's I was thinking lately champion. is actually trying out multiplayer as well. Maybe Oakland I can record that because I, I know that's going to be a very bad experience. Um, <laughs> I suck at the RTS side, but I really want to improve. So maybe that could be uh, a series for the future. We can build something new. Ah, now we can build an outpost here as well. I want some... Oh, what's this? Oh, that's just Loth and Seaguards. Okay. Ah, so we could get like a, a Phoenix... He's got a few Phoenix, uh, some better mounted units. Yeah, let's just build it here. That's fine. Uh, all the high elves helping each other out, which is nice to see. Let's go to turn 52. Greetings. I sway to Loic's tune. For whom do you dance? Tyrion wants us to join the war against Yvres. Do I have any kind of agreement with Yvres already? I have a, ch I have a trade agreement. I don't know if I have a non-aggression pact because it doesn't show me. Hmm. I assume it would give me a warning if I was going to break a non-aggression pact, right? Moderate threat. Oh, okay. This is different. Now, we don't have a defensive alliance or anything with them. We are trading with them, however. What happens if I decline? Will he hate me? I just don't want to be fighting... I just don't want to be fighting other high elves right now. If I decline, hopefully Tyrion doesn't hate me too much. We'll have to check the diplomacy on our next turn. So, nothing happening during the end turn there, really. Um... Oh, I love the Vortex. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the Vortex is when I play Avalon and you can't really see what's happening. <laughs> uh, but it is a cool uh, part of the map for sure, seeing that there now. Another army or two has shown themselves. No. They're kind of dangerous, although I think we could take their, at least one of these Saturday armies out relatively service. easy. The problem is then, do we leave ourselves vulnerable to an attack? A Lithanar can't reach any of them. He can reach Malekith though. A Manikif doesn't have that scary of an army. Okay, I think we're going to attack Malikif this turn, but also we're going to attack this army here. Uh, should be easy pickings. It's given us a Pyrrhic victory. Ah, that's a lot of shades. That's probably why, I would imagine. Uh, and I've also got some Black Guard of Nagarond. However, I think we can do better than a Pyrrhic victory. Uh, we might be able to pull something out of the hat here. Uh, we've even got them in an ambush. Even better. Right, let's go ahead and jump in and get a nice battle underway. Here we are then. So we've got a nice ambush battle taking place here. We can't actually see the shades. <laughs> but they are in here, I imagine, just in front of the cavalry. The enemy lord is at the front. What level is she? I don't think we can actually see until the battle starts. Now, what I plan to do is maybe let's go ahead and pull our artillery back here. That should keep them somewhat safe, you would hope. 
Something like this. Oh, it's hard to see here, isn't it? Let's do something like this. They should be able to shoot the enemy. Let's go ahead and put it on multi-shoot as well. Try and get as many kills as we can. It's a shame we can't give attack orders straight away. Now, where do we want everyone else? I imagine we would want a spear line to run into the shade ASAP. So, let's go ahead and get our spearmen here. And with them, let's put them like this. Well, we probably don't want them to spread out, otherwise they're going to die faster. Uh, with our spearmen here, I'm going to try and charge the shades uh, almost instantly. With our cavalry, let's go ahead and hide them in the trees. And these cavalry should be able to come in behind and attack the shades from behind as well. Uh, I think that should be a good strategy. Now, with our spellcaster, I'm going to put her over here or over here. This is on a hill. Maybe we want to go here, because then the enemy is fighting uphill. Let's go ahead and get all of our archers. And then with these, we'll just do something like this. Archers. And probably just spread them out archers. a little bit. Without fail. Just archers. in case, because I think uh, they're going to be stuck in a bill of melee, aren't they? Archers. So let's just do something like this. Give them uh, some room. We should outrange the shades anyway. We've got much better range than them, so that's all looking good. In fact, if we're going to do this, let's go ahead and put our artillery over here. Otherwise, they're undefended, I just realised. So let's go ahead and do something like this. We probably want to get the cavalry straight away. That's our cavalry's here. Let's go ahead and get our spellcaster over here as well then. She'll be fine. And I think we're ready to start the battle. Right. Let's go ahead and start it. And we're going to go instantly into the shades. We want to engage them ASAP. Uh, with these guys. We'll just let them fire in for now. Get some damage off. Uh, and that should be fine. And then with the cavalry. Let's go in here. And get some damage going off there. What I'm also going to do is tell you guys to hit this. And I just realised. We actually need to move everyone up. As you say. Otherwise, we're not going to get any damage off, are we? A uh, bit of a silly play there from me. That's fine. Let's go ahead and get some of this magic off as well. Now, it doesn't look like a good match up here. But what I'm going to try and do is at least just try and get some charge damage in. The main thing here is we're, we're distracting the enemy, uh, which is very nice to see. Yeah, we're not doing much damage on the initial charge. In. Let's just go ahead and pull them out and try some cycle charging. As I've said, uh, micromanagement isn't my, my strongest suite, but we've got to learn. Orders received. Illyrian Reavers. I do like to try and improve at games, and this is a good opportunity to try and improve. So we just keep cycle charging them in and out. It should keep these guys busy uh, at the least. We will obey. There we go. So we're getting a little bit of damage in. We're keeping the enemy busy there. Our archers are able to shooting as well. And we're dealing with most of their melee. I think our spearmen are going to die, but eh, it's fine. It's just Kill spearmen. Them. Spearmen are Protect replaceable. Illyrian Reavers. Are you going to charge in? Can we get any magic going on? Yeah, that's fine. There. Right, our cavalry's taking a bit of damage. We're going to take a fireball. Can we dodge it? Oh, it's actually going to our archers. Okay. That's actually done a, a lot of damage to our archers. In fact, let's go ahead and charge you guys back in again. Balance of power is not in our favor, really, which is interesting. The game said we were probably going to win, so it's interesting now uh, that it's not uh, thinking that way anymore. There we go. Our archers are getting a plenty of damage out. Let's just go ahead and move our lord back a little bit. She's taking some aggro from the enemy range. And look at that. The sea of missiles uh, focusing the enemy Understood. infantry there. Uh, guys, if we can just target them, that would be beautiful. Ah, they have cavalry as well. I almost completely forgot about that. Ah, there's, these guys are out of range. If we can go ahead and do something like this, that would be amazing. Right. These guys. Come on, guys. We need to get these burnt down. Do something like this. I think we should be okay. The enemy lord is coming as well, though. 
Just get people facing the right way. Just try and get... I think we're, we're doing okay, actually. Maybe we can just get some damage off there. Balance of power is now looking to be on our favour. We're about to kill the enemy lord as well. Let's go ahead and move our lord back. We're going to be taking some fire from the shades otherwise. Let's get the artillery firing in here as well. I think the cavalry are almost spent. We've basically lost all our spearmen. Enemy lord is dead vote. These shades are looking to die. Let's bring the cavalry back now. I don't want to risk losing them completely. These spearmen as well. In fact, I think we just won the battle. Look at that. That wasn't so bad, was it? I think we lost a spearmen. But other than that, things are looking kind of smooth. <laughs> wow. We will obey. Let's try and get some shots off on there, guys. Uh, we'll just speed things up a bit. Get as many kills as we can. And I think once the artillery starts moving, yeah. Are you going to get another shot in? There we go. They got another shot in. Let's go ahead and end the battle. I think that was a good one. Heroic victory. I don't think I've ever got that by fighting a manual battle before. I see no heroes here. Only pawns playing their roles. Prove me wrong. Uh, is a heroic victory good? I think so. So there we go, we lost 283, we killed 666, and in fact, we lost no units. No idea how, but we did it. Let's jump back to the campaign map. Uh, I'm rather pleased with myself after that win. There we go, so we stole a sword of swift slaying. Plus full melee attack and plus 10 armor pierce and weapon damage could, could come in handy. Uh, 3000 XP as well as the 2700 gold as well, and of course, no loss of units here, and we did manage to kill them. I don't think we wiped out the army, though, which is a little bit annoying. Should we go for the replenishment here? Or should we get the 1300 gold? The fact that we're so damaged, this I'm inclined to take the replenishment. As the army will go ahead and retreat there, which is a little bit unfortunate. How what stacked is this, is this army? Not extremely You'll stacked, consider. however... Oh, I think we could fight them. Let's go ahead and chase after this army. We'll wipe them out at least. And then we'll get some more replenishment there as well. That's looking fine. Plus five leadership when fighting against Dark Elves should be nice. And we've also got a the other Trickster Shard. Spell resistance minus 20% for all enemies in range. Could also come quite in handy. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, we're going to be... Oh. No. We might get caught Magic off guard. I can't tower. really force march, can I? I'm going to be in trouble. By Let's the go ahead and get tower. some of this. We'll go ahead and keep getting that quartermaster. That's helping our income a ton. How much is a Lifanar's army Oathwork costing? Oh, it's much cheaper because we have a big discount on these, Scholar of course. Supreme. It's a shame a Lifanar can't catch the this army moment. either. And if we force march... Fire. It's not really much of a reinforcement. Would they really attack us, though? I think if they attack us, we would still win. There's not too much to worry about. It's fine. Um, if they attack us, that's fine. Right. Uh, with a Lifanar, though, let's go ahead and attack Malekith. But first, we've got some new weapons and stuff. Let's go ahead Master and see magic. if you want anything new. So we got the White Sword. Weapon strength and bonus versus infantry. I will actually go ahead and give you the white sword. And then we've got some enchanted items as well. Spell resistance. Oh yeah, let's do that. Let's take that off you and we'll give you this one. If you get close and cast spells, then that's looking nice. So this gives power recharge. This gives cooldown reduction. Damage resistance. Ooh, let's give you that, that ward save. I'm, li I'm liking the look of that. And we've also got a Herald of Mathlan here that we could give you. There we go. Let's go ahead and give you that one. Why not? Uh, we'll use them all. I hate how sometimes uh, it doesn't get rid of this exclamation mark. It will disappear, though, once I exit out the menu. So that's fine. Right. Alifanar, now you need to show me what you've got against Malekith. <laughs> this fight might be even the harder. There we go. Struggling to click on that then. It's given us a valiant defeat, even. Now, I think that's purely because of Malekith, right? I don't think that's a valiant defeat, though. I think that's a win. We have a banner somewhere. Where is it? There we go. Let's go ahead and put that on one of our Shadow Walkers. I like the look of that. And we will go ahead and fight them manually here. 
because we can't afford reinforcements coming. So let's jump in and get our second battle underway. Now, luckily for us, we do actually have a choke point here, or do we? Oh no, it's just water. Unless we were to sit back here. I oh, know it's still water. They can come from the water. I was hoping that maybe because on the map preview, I thought this was like a mountain or something like this. But it seems all we've got here is water. Whilst we could try and funnel them into this choke point, there's nothing stopping them from just flanking us. However, what we could do is... Hmm, if they do come from the water, it's going to slow them down. Uh, I'm inclined to actually sell up here in hopes we can funnel them. So let's try and do something like that. First, though, let's go ahead and get our spearmen set up. Something like this. I think this should be uh, absolutely fine here. We'll try and get you just up there. Cover off the flanks. They shouldn't be able to get around there. It seems like the collision is doing done. weird things. Right. Spearman. Now, we do have Vanguard deployment on the rest of our army, though. I was considering starting up closer. We could even start him behind them. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. Actually, no, we can't because... Yeah, we can start in the corner. I don't like that. Uh, I really don't like that. We can't actually start too close. Are we even in range of them if we start here? We're not. So what I might do is actually just set up here and be a little patient. They don't have any artillery. They do have some chariots, though, that we've got to be careful with. So let's go ahead and set up some of our shadow walkers. These guys have poison missiles. So they should be able to slow down the enemy quite nicely, uh, which would be good. We've also got some regiment of renowned units here. Shadow um, warriors! Tell you what, be faster. Let's just do something it like this, and then we can drag Shadow people warriors, in place, can't we? Uh, I think what I'm going to do Shadow is probably warriors. put these guys on skirmish as well. So as the enemy close in further to us, let's go ahead and put you guys in here. If we go on to skirmish mode, we can keep them chasing us. That's fine. Oh, that's and then we also have a lift and Let's go ahead and put him up front. That should be fine. Right, let's go ahead and start the battle. Malekith is scary. He's a very good caster lord, of course. Agreed. So we've got to keep an eye on that. But I think we can win this battle. Are they going to attack us? Is he on a dragon? Ah. <laughs> I mean, it should make him an easy target. If we go ahead and speed things up here, I don't think the Dark Elves are actually going to be too aggressive. Which is unfortunate. That's why we need an artillery piece or two. Just to make the enemy attack us. Now, is there any other choke points? We could come in here, but then we're vulnerable from behind. Hmm. Well, I think no matter what, we kind of have to move here. Otherwise, nothing's going to happen. So let's go ahead uh, and pull ourselves over here in the tree line. And maybe that should work out for us. Um, should be absolutely fine, I'm sure. We're probably going to get flanked, but we'll, we'll see what happens. It's all good, guys. It's all good. Maybe we could have sent in a Lifanar Shadow or something. Uh, too late now, though. We're moving into position. Okay, so we're getting some shots off, which is nice to see. Lifanar is also in range of Malekith. What we could do... Let's go ahead and hit him with that moon bow and see how much damage we can do with that. Maybe Malekith will be a bit spooked by the damage and come and fight us like a man instead of just sitting there. Let's see, is he going to hit the shot? Oh, there might be a tree in the way. Okay, it seems to have went for the tree. Oh, beautiful. Didn't do too, too, too much damage, but uh, it still did damage, which is nice to see. Let's go ahead and summon a copy of ourselves. Of course, tell a Lifanar to attack here. And then our second copy, let's hit Malekith as well. Uh, we just kind of want to kill him and get him off the battlefield, really. Are the enemy charging in yet, or are they just going to let us fire shots into them? I think they might just be letting us fire some shots off into them. Um, I'm not complaining. I'll take the free damage when they do charge. It probably means better stuff for us. Are we actually getting any shots off on Malekith? Um... There's a missile. No, that's for the spearmen. I don't think we're actually getting any shots of him uh, because of the forest here. I think that's right. Yeah, we're not getting any shots off there. Uh, we don't have line of sight. Okay, what I might do then 
It's just sending my second copy here, and that should be fine. Now, Spearmen are going to be taking a little bit of damage from the Shade, but these guys should also be taking damage as well. What I might do is actually just move everyone in a bit closer, actually. We can fire whilst moving anyway, so if we get everyone in closer, we can be doing more damage, can't we? Sounds logical to me. Let's try and get some shots off. If we move a Lithanar over here, we should gain line of sight, actually, on Malekith. Ah, there we go. Some shades were hiding. We can see these guys now, though. We should be able to melt them down pretty fast. And how's the line of sight for a Lithanar? No he should have line of sight now. If we go over here. Maybe we can see a missile come in and hit him. Balance of power is a tiny bit in our favour. Oh, there we go. Elifanar's firing in. Oh, nice hit. Right, let's go ahead and fire the Moonbow again as well then. Oh, we missed. <laughs> nice. Good shot, Elifanar. Good shot, good shot. Right. I'm going to move everyone in a, a, a bit again. Maybe Very we do well. something like this, just so we're in range of all of our ranged units. Uh, this might trigger them to charge into us, but that's fine. Uh, I'd rather them come and we we can kill them. Right now, they're not really doing anything. And it's going to be an easy kill on Malekith at this rate. Unless our ammunition gets spent, but our ammunition isn't running out too fast either. Right, let's go ahead and summon another copy of ourselves. Then we're going to tell him to uh, shoot Malekith. I'm not sure if we can shoot him when he's in the air. Oh, no, we are we are hitting him. There we go. Uh, that's all looking fine and dandy there. I really do wonder why they're not charging yet. Ah, there we go. I think that's the horn to tell them to charge. And we just found some of their chariots as well. At this point, I think the, the battle is actually probably already won. The fact that we already got so many free kills already. <laughs> uh, are they still not charging? Vengeance! Okay, let's move a bit closer then. We can get in range with all of their back units as well. Uh, maybe kill some of these dark shards at the back. Oh, Malekith's getting his magic off now. Okay. Are we still shooting him? Okay, everything's coming in now. Right. Absolutely everyone. Burn down this angry man in the sky. I want him dead and I want him dead now. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. His health's not melting as fast as I thought. We should kill him in a few volleys though. If we can get rid of his magic, I'll be very happy. In fact, he's very tanky. Destroy them. He is extremely tanky. Asa, These guys are on skirmish mode. Okay, now he's getting a bit closer. Uh, he's down to half HP, but now he's in melee against the Lifanar. The Lifanar can Stop surely it. tank him just long enough for Malekith uh, to be killed. So that's fine. If, oh, we're missing a bit though, guys. I think we're getting some friendly fire in here. Um, be careful. Just kill Malekif. Okay, there we go. Uh, his leadership is wavering. Okay, he's running away. We're not getting much damage off on him, though. Are we actually hitting him, or is he just extremely damage resistant, I wonder? He seems to be leaving the, the battle. King. I'm going to send a Lithanar into melee. Okay, he's he's rallying once again. We've already lost one Shadow Walker. Come on, guys. Kill him. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. He has, like, no HP. 200 HP. Come on, guys. Death to all. Come on. Are we really Fall not getting back. that kill? 50, 40, 0 HP. Nice. Right. Shadow now we need to start killing Dark Shards and stuff. Come on, now we need to pick our targets, get in there, uh, and just get stuff done, basically. Those chariots aren't doing much. Oh, we've actually got some shades hidden there uh, that I didn't see. Right, let's go ahead and uh, send you guys in. That's absolutely fine. Elifanar's going to go in as well. Let's go ahead and summon uh, another copy of Elifanar. Did we get the summon off? No, Elifanar's in melee. That's fine as well. Uh, I'll take that. Why not? Okay, so half of their force already retreating. Let's go ahead and take out these chariots. Are there any shards back there? There are. 
we go ahead and take out these shards as well. Uh, it looks like we've actually running out of ammunition. Lifanar, can I take you out of melee just so we can get another copy of you? The balance of power isn't in our favour as much as I thought it would be at this point. We're running out of ammunition as well. Which is not good. At once. Okay, Elifanar, let's go ahead and summon your shadow version. Let's put that in melee. And we're going to go ahead and deal with these shades as well in the forest. Uh, that should be fine. Uh, these dark shards have come back, guys, if you can deal with them. Deal with these chariots as well. Will be done. Sinath, draw back. Now, of course, they should be okay in melee. It shall be done. We're gonna lose our spearmen, most likely. But I think everything else should be somewhat okay. Should be. As you say, yeah, these Assyrian guys are coming back wedding. again. Let's get rid of them. Orders received. Get some fire down we on those shades as well. These chariots are trying Attack. to retreat. Lifanar's actually already quite Ali tanky Fanar. in battle, isn't he? Uh, which is nice to see. Obey. Right, let's go we ahead and send done. in you guys. Why not? We will obey. I think we're not that far away from actually getting we the win. Obey. For the king. Vengeance. We're kind of just waiting on a, a mass surrender at the moment, fail. aren't we? Maybe I could have fought this a little bit better. We seem to be taking a lot of casualties. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Alright, you guys. Just go ahead and deal with them, I think. Same as you. Let's just move in now. Start assisting over here. It shall be done. Spearman. Serve the king. Understood. We will obey. Seal. There we go. Warriors are rallying. Let's get you guys back in the fight then. Okay, it looks like okay, enemies are starting to break away. Is that the mass retreat we've been looking for, maybe? We at least bring everyone over. I think we're, we're almost there. Okay, I think we got it. There we go. Uh, we beat Malekith as well. I wonder what his defeat trait is. Let's go ahead and end the battle. Pyrrhic victory. So we lost 500, but we killed 1,400. I'll take that. And once again... We didn't actually lose any units. I feel like we're getting kind of lucky in this episode. Let's jump back to the campaign map though because we did manage to kill Malekith. And there we go. 5,200 XP. 5,800 gold. That's probably the biggest we've seen so far. And because it was a settlement battle, we have fully wiped out Malekith's army. Which is very nice to see. Let's... Oh, we could sack it again. I'm going to do it. I'm greedy. Let's sack the Temple of Cain. Oh, I missed that trait that we got there. That was Malekith's defeat trait, I think. We're going to have to double check that one. Uh, let's uh, occupy the Temple of Cain vote. Take it for the line and now I want to go ahead and see what defeat trait we just got from Malekith. Uh, it might be this one. Defeated Malekith. Income from raiding plus 10%. And we get Frenzy. Very nice uh, for a Lifanar there. That's not a bad defeat trait at all. And even better, our army uh, is still in tip-top shape. Right, let's go ahead and level up a Lifanar. What were we doing with him? We, we've done with this tree. We were going up your top tree, weren't we? Uh, but I think we're almost also done with this for now. We were going down the red tree. So we could get some ammunition for archers, Loth and Sea Guard, Shadow Warriors, Shadow Walkers, Sisters of Avalon, and Bolt for our units. Let's go ahead and do that. Sister of Avalon could be a nice addition, as well as the Bolt Throwers, of course. We definitely want to get some of those. Now, do I need Spearmen on the front line? Probably I do. But I think five is a little bit excessive. Let's go with four. Dances, so shall I. And then what I want to do is go ahead and just get in an artillery piece. So that the enemy approach us rather than us approaching them. Right, I think that was a very productive turn there. We have 24,000 gold to spend. So let's try and spend some of that as well. We'll upgrade this province first. The Black Forests. Let's go ahead and get that garrison up. We can get that growth up as well. 
And I think we're going to turn this into economy. So we could. Do we need control here? I don't think so. Yeah, control's looking fine down here, actually. Uh, so what we can do here is either go for the Elven Embassy. Do we have many ports? We only have one port, so let's not do that. Let's just go ahead and build the Elven Craftsman. Gives us some trinkets to trade with and just some flat gold there. Uh, that's looking fine. Right, what about up here? We haven't really progressed this too much. I think Black Creek Spire. Let's go ahead and get that up to tier 3 first. That's looking fine and dandy. Uh, Circle of Destruction. And we'll get this one up to tier 2 first. And we might be able to build up here in Nagarond. No, Nagarond is already upgrading. We will repair this though. And I think I'm going to... Uh, we'll keep that for now. Why not? Should be absolutely fine. We can also upgrade the Witchwood as well. Ah, now I do wonder then. If we go to Alifanar just to check this. Where is he? Because he's in a settlement at the moment. If we go to Allied Recruitment. We do have quite a few high elf units we can get. Uh, we could get Treekin. We could get Zoats. Uh, all looking very far. I don't think we're going to get any ranged units. Just because... Uh, we already have our ranged units. We could, get, say, get some Great Eagles. Don't we already get Great Eagles? But maybe something like Dryads could be useful. We'll have to see um, what happens. Let's go ahead and check the diplomacy for now, though. I don't think there's anything to be had here. So let's go on ahead to turn 53. Don't presume to stride where I patrol. That will be a fatal error. Now, Yabres have ended their trade agreement with us. I forgot to see what our relation with Tyrion was now, didn't I? And unfortunately, this army is going to attack us and it's given us a valiant defeat. So we're going to have to go ahead and fight our third battle of the episode. Here we are then. I just realised our spearmen don't have much health at all to them. Which is rather unfortunate. I think we're just going to set up here. There might be some line of sight issues if we go there. And it looks to be slightly downhill for the enemy as well. So what I'm going to do here. We will take the spearmen and form a front line. But it doesn't look like it's going to be a, a very strong front line here at all. Understood. Just hopefully it lasts long enough so that our archers can deal some damage. Let's go ahead and get our archers set up as well. Archers. I'll put them back just a, a tad Understood. here. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Something Orders like received. this. Space them out no. a little bit so that when uh, some of their cavalry or stuff does break through, we just have a, a bit fail. of wiggle room available to us. Uh, we also Orders do have received. our artillery. These guys should be able to do something. And then we have our... We do have cavalry. They have vanguard deployment. Maybe we can sneak around the back and do something with yes. them. Yes. Right, let's go ahead and start the battle. And I think what I'm going to do here... Is just target these guys straight away. If we can keep people away from our front line, that would be good. Unfortunately, the enemy cavalry are here. So let's just try and tie them down for as long as possible. The enemy lords and stuff are probably going to be very problematic to us. In fact, let's try and burn down that cavalry there. Yeah, this is problematic. We're never going to win this outcome over here. Uh, I think it's just about trying to buy as much time for our main army as possible, really. Maybe we could even sneak around, get an attack in on the shades. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get around this cavalry unit, though. Unless they leave us. In fact, let's go ahead and attack these shades right here. Right. Uh, the cavalry over here are looking damaged. That's fine. Let's go ahead and just cast some magic on them as well. Just to make sure. There we go. These guys look to be gone. Uh, we seem to have survived that. Uh, we're going to take some magic damage of our own though. As well. Let's go ahead and attack these dark shards. I don't like having dark shards so close to me. What we could do, we do have some damage resistance. The enemy lords as well, or heroes, are going to be problematic. But we seem to be melting them a fair amount right now. 
once he clashes here, I think I'm going to get some damage resistance going on there, make them immune to charge. And we can also nerf the melee defense and melee attack of that lord. Uh, that should be fine. Our cavalry are tying down the enemy nicely there. Balance of power, not really in our favor, but that's fine. Uh, oh, artillery. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stay there. What are you going to do is attack these shades. Let's try and get some damage off on them. That should be fine. In fact, I should probably put you guys in guard mode, shouldn't I? Uh, ideally. Right. Things are going kind of okay. Let's try and get some damage off on these guys. If we get closer as well, we can give them that minus 20% uh, spell resistance. And we should do more damage to them as a result of that. Our archers are getting absolutely melted. It will be done. If we can get some shots off on here. Balance of power still not really in our favor. not looking good is it let's try and nerf the melee defense and melee attack here one of the other lords also coming through i think we might have to dish out some manual attack orders here i don't think we're prioritizing uh how we should be really let's just try and get rid of the enemy ranged uh, and then we might be able to do something i think we could also maybe uh, i don't want to take fire here we could go ahead and get some spell damage off on them, though. I think it's we don't have to get too far uh, to get that spell off. There we go. That's going to do something for us. Oh, you guys need to engage there. I think we should just be charging forwards at this point. The spearmen don't seem to be tanking damage anyway. Oh, dear. Where's our artillery gone? Okay, our artillery is still here. Orders understood. Power. Let's do something like this. Okay, they're surrendering, or they're running away, I should say. That's good. These guys as well. well if, oh, they can't fire whilst moving, so if we can keep them running, uh, that would be beautiful. Let's go ahead and kill these spearmen over here. We can still pull ourselves in melee. Let's go ahead and get some spell damage off on them as well. I want you guys to try and kill this enemy lord now. You attack her. Uh, you attack him. Where's my other eagle? Okay, over there, right. And I think you guys just get some fire going off over here. Should be fine. Let's go ahead and attack the enemy lord. We're going to engage her in melee. Chariots have run out of ammunition. Balance power is in our favor now, somehow. Let's go ahead and nerf her melee defense and melee attack. We're going to go in and try and take advantage of that now as well. Uh, you guys attack these shades for me. Do we have units back here? Okay, they're leaving the battlefield. That's unfortunate. It will be done. Weapons ready. Nope, they've decided to return to us. Let's go ahead and bring them back. Ah, oh, shades. I forgot they have stalk or whatever it's called. They hadn't left. They're still very much here. I think what we should do, though, is we can probably get a spell cast off there. That should make these guys retreat from the battle. It should kill them completely. Right, someone's surrendering here. Ah, that's one of our units. That's not good. You guys aren't even facing the right way. What's going on there? Surely we can pull out one of these units. If we can kill the enemy lord. It will be done. The most potent spells. Can we get that cast off on her? There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, archers, at this point, just focus the enemy hero. Ah, there we go. We got the win. Okay. Can we get a kill on the enemy lord, I wonder? I think we are faster than her. What I'm going to tell people to do here. Let's go on single shot. And we did manage to kill the enemy lord. Pyrrhic victory there for us. Wow. So there we go. We lost 746 models. They lost 718, so we lost more. However, we still somehow walked away with the victory there. I think we lost most of our army, but this should be an opportunity to recruit a stronger army, which we, we wanted to do anyway. So uh, I think it's everything's f fine over on this part of the map.
There we go, we've managed to claim a gleaming pennant there. Uh, leadership plus four, eh, not the best. 3,400 XP, 2,500 gold. We've lost all of our spearmen, as well as our two cavalry, but no one else. Our archers somehow surviving. Let's go ahead and take the replenishment, just in case there's another dark elf army nearby. And there we have it, turn 53. Skeggy have been obliterated, so adios to them. Up up in that, though, I think all of the end turn stuff was there. Oh, we've got a mount now for sale. That's nice. She's uh, done a very good job for us so far. Eliminate the following character. Oh, I don't even know where they are at because we aborted it. Uh, be at war with the following faction. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Not right now. We're struggling because one thing I also noticed is Marafi is coming north. She's sailing here. She's got armies here. We're going to have to recruit another army. We have the income to support it. So that's absolutely fine. We're going to have to uh, do some recruiting. Uh, but sadly, that's all I have time for today. Uh, I think that was a, a very productive episode there. We killed Malekith. We've gained some ground on him. Uh, what we need to do now is just make sure we defend down to the south. So Marafi doesn't gain any ground against us. But that's it for today. I'll be back on Wednesday with the next episode. So two days off now and then we'll come back hopefully stronger and better. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you have a lovely weekend, and I'll see you next time.